Welcome to the birthplace of college football. The State University of New Jersey, the campus of Rutgers in Piscataway, and we are ready for what ought to be a tremendous game today. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Wisconsin Badgers, taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Badgers will kick it off to get us underway. So the Rutgers Scarlet Knights offense takes the field to start this game off. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on. You're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot. He can play out wide. He can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Wide receiver shows motion. Gonna run it. It's Monaga. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. They've got it inside the 40 at the 39 as they pick up the first down. And the Scarlet Knights are on the move. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. And guys, this can be a great time to look for a big play on second and inches. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Here on third down for this offense. And that play shows you really what this defense is about. It's a ball in the air. Intercepted. Going the other way, and he's got room. He's at the 30. He's at the 10. And he's going to take it all the way back. Touchdown, Badger. And how about the job by this offense? This is not a scrub defense. This is a top 10 defense in college football. You got to take points whenever you can get them. Nice job putting a drive together, putting six on the board. No matter how it looks, you just got to keep fighting with this squad. And they did attack on the extra point, by the way. Knocked it right down the middle. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. That last pick six after a drive like that, David, can swing the momentum of a game. The defense is still celebrating. I mean, such a big play. I mean, they, they gave up some yards, but did what they're supposed to. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. This defense, they are tenacious. And they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. And the big tight end, a lot of times, that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude. And you could tell they put the hit on him. And that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. The Scarlet Knights will line it up on first and 10. They'll put the tight end in motion. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. From the gun, the running back has it. And they'll bring him down after a short pickup. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackler. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. 
He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience. He bounced that thing outside a little too early, and as a result, lost yards. Boots his first of the day away. He was called on four times in the victory last week. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. So the Wisconsin Badgers offense will have its first possession of the game. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Couldn't connect on that last play. Now second and ten from the 42. After the incompletion, they go back up top. He is lucky to get that one back. And the last thing you want is to turn it over on your opening drive. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, David. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes, and you want to shut this crowd up early. You don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. He showed it all there, a little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. From the red zone, looking for a man. Caught over the middle, it's Pauling. They make the stop after the catch, and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll try the run. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Man, that was a good run, but it was almost even better. Great job by the offense. Keep the running game going. You get big chunks like this. Not only was that a big chunk, it also looked like it could have gone. Snagged in the end zone. Touchdown, Wisconsin. And the defense just has to do a better job in coverage in that situation. Down close to the goal line, you know it's going to be man coverage. You just have got to do a better job sticking on your guy. The defender just simply got beat. And right down the middle. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. If a free safety comes blitzing, you've got to throw a slant behind it to the receiver. So that time, the quarterback and receiver, they may not have been on the same page. The jet sweep pass. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch, so pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth game if I were allowed to play half push passes when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the inside. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Swift backs here. Looking downfield, it's Van Dyke. He wants to take the top off. And he bats it away and falls incomplete. I think for the quarterback, he's going to have to be so good with his eyes in this game. Going up against one of the best defenses in the country, you've got to look guys off, especially when you're trying to throw to your primary target like he was on that last one. He's got it. Just gashing this defense. A big gainer to the 40-yard line. First down here for the offense. He's going to pass. Fires to the middle. Connection to the right. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. Both teams.
Bruins wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. And the Badgers come to the line with a new set of downs. He'll try the left side. They finally get him on the ground, but the big running play moves to change for the first down. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. They'll use the running game on first and goal. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. Now it's second and goal. He's looking to throw. Now improvising. Fires to the end zone. And that ball was in harm's way, and he is lucky to get that one back. Now after the misfire, it leaves him with third and goal from the three. Pushes ahead. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Badger! No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. On the move from inside is five. Bring in the heat. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse probably scored pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you've got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Find space on the right. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give him a first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find the rhythm in one better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. He'll keep it himself. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. How easy was that? I mean, when you got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five-plus yards just and make it look that easy, God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. Trying play action. Looking deep. Fires in the trap back, picked off. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Wants to throw. It's Van Dyke. Throws to the wideout. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. And off from the shotgun. Got the first down and more. And this offense is feeling it as they rip off a big chunk of yardage, and they've got it on the 22. That big play put them in business. Now they're right on the edge of the red zone as they go to work first and ten. They get him down, but not before he picks up five down to the 17-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Gets it out fast. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator's calling good plays. The quarterback and his unit is executing. And this defense right now, they have no answers. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. 
Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. They've got the screen set up. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Snap from the gun on third down. Going for six. Throw to the end zone. It's picked off. And defensive backs, you think, don't have good hands. The big fella shows it. How about that defensive back going up and getting the interception? Nice job breaking on the football. You say that's why you play defense because you don't have hands? Yeah. They're going to open this drive with a pass. They're working that left side. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And the Scarlet Knights racing to the line in the hurry up. Comes out throwing on first down. And he is finding wide open defenders all over the field. His third interception of the day. Touchdown, Wisconsin! And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. And he takes this from inside the five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like, this is, this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. you got to get some points on the board. you got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up, catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points? And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. Defense calls a quick timeout there. Perhaps a little confusion about what call they were in. The Scarlet Knights will punt this one away. He gets a block. Looking for running room. He'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. Here comes the offense on first down. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misconnection, it's second down. Back to throw. It's Van Dyke. Looking left. Got his man open runway ahead and finally out of bounds after an explosive run by this ball carrier he's been a matchup problem all season long defenses just don't know how to solve the puzzle and with that last catch over 500 yards receiving now on the year for him let's it fly pulls it in in the end zone touchdown badger and let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. And the play will stand after the replay move just does a little double checking to make sure. And they tack on the extra point for a 35-0 lead. Quick strike offense on that replay scoring drive. And they finish it up with a 15-yard scoring toss. Here he comes from inside his own five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in this. And they got him for the sack. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. And he had it for a second, but it just dribbled out of his hands. 
I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Kicks it high, and it's just hanging there as if it has helium in it and floating down toward the earth. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. The give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. Got three on first down at second and seven. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. He has the first and still on his feet. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. All right, guys. Looks like we've got a great scene there today in Piscataway. These two defenses have really been up to the task so far, and it's hard to ignore how each of these two secondaries have impacted things. They've stayed true to their assignments, covering each receiver like a blanket. And you know what else they've done? They've wrapped up and tackled. And the Scarlet Knights will kick it away first and will start the second half. Let's see what he can do with the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. They'll start this drive with a pass. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. And the quarterback didn't have a chance. I mean, when you get to the QB that fast, Jesse, you're still processing information, for goodness sakes. And you're getting to the sideline whenever this drive is over, and you're asking for help from your offensive coordinator. You're asking, hey, can we slide our offensive line and help out blocking this guy? Can I get a tight end to stay in? Maybe get a chip on this dude? Because I'm not feeling too comfortable right now back there knowing that we're trying to only block him with one guy. Oh, they really could have used that catch there. Physical pass defense. It brings up a fourth down. And look, I know this offense made some adjustments at halftime, and they couldn't wait to get back out on the field and try to generate a score. But their defense is playing lights out. So to me right now, this is a no-brainer. After the incompletion on third, just punt it away and let your defense eat. They were willing to spin that wheel of fortune in their own territory, and it paid off. And it came up good. <laughs> I mean, I think you see the aggressiveness by these offenses now, willing to go for it on their own territory, and I like it because they got it. Nice job by this defense. Listen, you got to understand, they're going to run the football. They're going to try to milk the clock, Jesse. They got the huge lead. Haven't been a lot of good plays for this defense in this game so far, so can they build on that one? Can they create some turnovers here in the second half to get back in this game? Complete to the right, and he'll be run out of bounds, and these guys are piling up some serious yardage totals. Sometimes your tight end's a safety valve, and sometimes he's your go-to receiver. And the offense knew right away it was the primary target. It was where he was going with the football, because you know you get a little bit of suck up from those linebackers with the play action, and you feed the big foot. After the first down completion, it's second and short. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Leaves it with the running back. Shakes off the tackler. Finds a crease at the 20. He's piled up 87 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. Yeah, this offense has had their way with this defense, and they've had a lot of success. And I tell you what, if this defense wants any chance of coming back, they better get physical and stop the run, because right now, this offense is having their way. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. You know, as a defense, you kind of want to force the give on the RPO. You want them to run the football, and you can tell maybe the quarterback wishes he pulled this. Small gain, but some information. Touchdown, Wisconsin! And the route is on. 
really nice job working the route and getting himself open. He was able to locate the football, snag it out of the air, and this guy now has five receiving touchdowns on the year. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. NC State is currently trailing in this one, but it feels like the tide may be turning. This pack team has picked itself up before, and they are capable of it again today. They're trailing by 10 to Syracuse. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Solid gain to get him out close to the 20. Pick up a 5 to the 19. Halfway there on first down, it's second and 5. He's looking to throw. Released. And it is another interception. Just a terrible struggle for this quarterback. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. And this, my friend, is what you call advantageous field position. Starting the drive with a first and... Touchdown, Badger! And the pummeling has started. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. That's exactly what you want to do when you have that type of field position. Strike quickly, and they did. One play, and they put it on the board. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. He's brought down at the 16. Would have been much better off to take the touchback. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That's a part of it. If you're going to be a great player, you got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. The inside handoff. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And here comes the offense on second down. Motion from the offense. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. And you've already set your punter out four times. At least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter. And his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. Right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. Caught in the backfield, it's long. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like... ...in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. It's a makeable field goal from the 29-yard line. Let's see how aggressive they are on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Right down the middle. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. 
It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. It's good. And the field goal is good. They get three on the board, but it really doesn't matter much in terms of the deficit. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. And he's going to bring it out. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. And Wisconsin has its offense back on the field. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. And it's been great execution. They've done exactly what they've wanted to do. Build the lead. Now Palmer's a different animal. Now you got to protect it. You can tell they were paying attention in practice this week in the film room because they have gone out everybody right now on the same page. Fires to the wideout. It's complete. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Now they'll try to cash in this drive. First and 10 from the 50. Give to the running back. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Back to pass. It's Van Dyke. Trying to get to it. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. This should be the last play of the quarter. Yeah, and your first job is to affect the quarterback and try to get him off his spot. They get him off his spot, he gets outside the pocket, and a nice job chasing, not quitting, getting to the quarterback, and still getting a good lick as he's throwing the football. That pass not closes. He got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. As we come to the end of the period, Wisconsin has the lead. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. I guess if you're an optimist, the stage is set for a massive fourth quarter comeback. will call on their punt team. He ought to be able to use his first punt to pin him deep. Sends his first one of the day on the way. We didn't see much of him in that victory last week. Just called on one time. And the Rutgers offense heads back onto the field. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think and that is his fifth interception, a nightmare he is not waking up from. Line gets set, first down. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and bleeding the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. And that big gainer on the last one has them threatening from inside the 10. A first down run on the doorstep. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. They moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Quick pass on the fly motion. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, and David. Touchdown, Wisconsin! And the stomping has commenced. They're on the board again, and it looks as if this winning streak is going to continue. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day. Putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. And he's coming out of the end zone. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Rutgers has it back. They'll send the offense back onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. Got his man in the middle. 
They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. You take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Looking to throw on second down. Got the quick pass. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling for the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Offense gets set for second down. The aerial assault continues. Going to take a shot. Grabs it at the 25-inch stride. Touchdown, Rutgers! And once he found open space, the man might as well start playing. Nice pitch, nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling here now by a 1,000. But I like that they continue to fight. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Hey, fellas, here's a quick update on a top 15 clash today. Oregon is down right now, but you simply can't rule out a comeback. Justin Herbert had a hand in getting this kid to Eugene, so if he thinks the magic is there, who am I to disagree? They're trailing by just four to Ohio State. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll run it. They want to take their time here. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. On the run, it's Luck. Quickly complete. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. And on a critical third down here in the fourth quarter, surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. The lone back's got it. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Pass the first down marker and still running. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. And just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward, let your receiver do the rest. I only got to get a few yards. Nice job, nice execution. First down. And the Badgers look to keep this drive humming. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They go to the ground. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Badgers will try to pin them back with the punt. And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football, eat the clock. We got the lead. This offense has put together a nice day, man. Like, just balance, rhythm, timing, play calling. Everything has worked. That's why they built this lead. They've had a great day today. The offense lining up for a first down play. He wants to throw. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. Still at their own 20 after that last incompletion. It's second and 10. He's looking to throw. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hands. Third and 10, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. From the gun, wants to pass. Quick strike complete. This offense has their work cut out for them, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Makes a move. 
That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the run. The Wisconsin offense will come back on the field to jump around a bit. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes. If you do choose to rub a little salt in it and keep chucking and keep scoring, I'm here for it, Jesse. Like, your job is to score points. It's my job to stop it. Keep the foot to the accelerator. Keep trying to play the ball. I agree a thousand percent. That's like Steve Spurrier back in the day when I was playing for the Gators. You go and play for him because you want the opportunity to, to throw the ball. So when you get in the game late, you're not handing it off. We were beating Central Michigan by 80-something points. He was still letting us throw the football. It's the defense's job to stop you. And that's what I love about this offense, man. They run the football and get first downs. They throw the football and get first downs. So much balance. That's why they're the number two offense in all of college football and getting first downs. They are so hard to defend. They'll get the timeout with five seconds remaining to play. After this, it'll be a wrap. Little touch pass to the receiver. Looking for room at the 30. And that is how we will wrap this one up. We're at the midway point of the season, and after the showing they delivered today, this team is firing on all cylinders through Week 7. We've been talking a lot about this team. We want to be remembered in the month of November. The most important part in the meat of this schedule now is coming up. You play well throughout the second half of the year. We're talking college football playoff potential. Yeah, hey, but you got to start somewhere, right? And I, and I like that they started strong, made it to week seven now. Yes, the, the rivalries are coming up and, and more important games are coming up. But you did what you needed to do to start the season. Now just keep that mindset and keep grinding. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of... E